in this last session of genetics, we're going to talk about something a little different. We're going to talk about what are called mutations. Now, sometimes in our science fiction movies and things like that, we end up getting the wrong impression of what mutations are. Make sure you get this definition. definition. A mutation is an error or a mistake that occurs. And there are many mutations scientists believe that happen that have really no effect on how a cell works. But then there are others that, that do have an effect. Let's take an example using things we know. Here's a piece of DNA. Just like we've done before. Remember, we're going to run the DNA. That they have the master plan. It's a secret code, and we don't know what it all means. And, and so we have a piece of DNA here. And uh, if we wanted to make our piece of messenger RNA, we did this in one of our other sessions, you would end up having something like this. C, A, G, G, U. Remember, it's messenger RNA, so A goes with U. A, C, G, G. Let's, that's normal. And remember, when you would run it through your ribosomes, you run it through, you read it in threes with all your transfer RNA and all that kind of stuff, and it works great. When you run it through, you should get these three would make glutamic acid and these three make valine and this one makes arginine now I just picked a really really small piece of DNA but here's what a mutation is there are thousands and thousands and thousands of thousands of times that cells do this over and over and over and over and sometimes they make a mistake and again sometimes the mistake is great and sometimes it's just not really something that's bad at all. And so let's see an example of a mutation. Let's say that um, let's say that this G, there's a mistake, and it accidentally puts in a C. No big deal. It's just one letter. Can't affect very much, can it? Well, if you look up on the chart like we've done in the past, remember seeing this? Well, if you look up what amino acid is made, it's not valine anymore. In this case, it becomes a leucine. Well, that's what is called a point mutation. At one point, there's a mistake. Now, what happens is when we get these amino acids together, this makes a protein and tells the cell how to work. You have a mistake. Well, the mistake may not change much, but in some cases like this one, it completely changed what the amino acid is. Now, where would be a chance where it wouldn't affect anything? Well, notice that if you had A, C, U, A, C, U, it's threonine. If you had a mistake and it made A, C, C, it's still threonine. So that really wouldn't be a mistake that would hurt anything. You'd get the same answer. But in this case, you get a completely different amino acid, so it doesn't work normal. And so there's a mistake. Since it doesn't uh, work right, maybe this protein just doesn't work right, and it doesn't work right in the cell. Maybe no effect at all, or maybe it's a big effect. Uh, there are examples where there is a point mutation, and here's an example. There's one that's called sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia is uh, a disorder in which your red blood cells are not made right. Your red blood cells are supposed to be round. Now, the way I'm drawing this picture is going to look really weird because I don't need a circle like this. If you've ever seen a jelly donut, it's full of filling. And let's say you took your thumb and you smashed the middle down so it looks like a raft. That's what your red blood cell would look like. And what happens is when it passes your lungs, it picks up oxygen and takes oxygen all over your cell. That's what a normal one looks like. In sickle cell anemia, you have a point mutation. You have a mistake, and you have a change. That change makes a big deal because the red blood cells aren't shaped like this anymore. They're shaped like that. They have points on them. Well, that cell doesn't work right. So you make some red blood cells that don't act normal. And since they don't act normal or look normal, they don't work right. And so they sort of get in the way of the normal red blood cells. Well, that's not a life-ending uh, mistake. 
People that have sickle cell anemia, you may even know someone and they, you don't even know they have it. A little bit of medication helps with any of the problems that occur from having these, but their body still makes red blood cells like this. It's just some of the cells made a mistake and they're making the wrong kind of thing. And so they just don't work right. So it's just a simple mistake that the cell made when it makes thousands and thousands a day of these kinds of changes, oops, there was a mistake, and that's what occurs. Not life ending, doesn't affect the quality of life. In this case, a little bit of medicine will help deal with um, cells that look like these little points, make it really hard to go through your blood vessels. And so they give you medicine to make that work better. So that's an example of a point mutation. Now there are other things that can happen um, that have some other effects. We said in one of the other lessons, you're either XX if you're a girl, or an XY if you're a boy. That's normal. What happens is you got half your genes from your mom and half from your dad. We've talked about 46 chromosomes. Your sex cells have 23 chromosomes. They have half of it through that process of meiosis. So you got one gene from your mom and one from your dad. You got one from your mom and this one's from your dad. But what happens if somebody's an X blank? That means that either the egg there was a mistake when they made an egg cell. It had nothing in it. It was fertilized by a sperm that had an X. X blank. Well, you may, not, you may know somebody like this too. This is a mutation. It's an error. The person will be a female, and here's why. You'll notice that humans have an X in the front. All humans have an X in the front. The difference is this second character here. It's an X. It's going to be a female. It's a Y going to be a male. Now listen carefully how I say this. All babies will develop into females unless a Y chromosome is turned on. So in this case, this will be a female. Except there's going to be some errors that have taken place. Uh, this is what is called Turner's syndrome. And it's just a mistake. The only difference, they look just like every other female. They just, in this case, a Turner's person can't have children. They don't have any ovaries. And so they can live a quality of life and, and be normal and you'd never even know that it's like that. It's a mutation. Does it happen often? No. But it's just an error. Here's one more example just to give you three of them. It's a disorder called trisomy 21. Tri means three. What And somy comes from the word chromosome you have three chromosome 21s. Well, that's not normal. If you got a pair from your mom, a set of your DNA from your mom and a set from your dad, you should have two of every chromosome. Well, this person has three of chromosome 21. This is what is called Down's syndrome. Down's children, you've probably met or know someone or seen Down syndrome kid. It's a disorder in which um, every child looks very similar to each other. It doesn't matter what nationality they are. And the reason they all look similar is because one of the things that's on chromosome 21 is the structure of the bones in the face. You're supposed to get two of them, one from your mom and one from your dad. So there was an error and there's three. And what that means is the egg accidentally didn't split exactly in half or a sperm didn't, so you end up getting three. And so you get that gene being shown three times. That's why they all look very similar to each other. That bone structure is really exaggerated, and they just look very similar. Now, let me say this again. A mutation does not mean life-altering. It's just a mistake. Some things can happen, and we never know it. Some things can change, and they'll be a little bit more drastic. And other things, we don't know. Scientists say that we carry all kinds of genes that we can pass on to our kids. We probably have multiple diseases that we carry in our genes that are in the recessive genes that will never be passed on. They might be carriers, like we're carriers, but they may never be passed on. If you have a mistake that occurs, that is what is called a mutation. It's a change or an error, and sometimes it can be something like Turner's syndrome or Down syndrome or have no effect at all. And most times, the body does it flawlessly without any mistakes. It's a wonder it doesn't happen more often. But sometimes it does, and that's called mutation.